Today, I'm going to share with you G-Wagon. I'm going to change engine air filter. Very easy and a simple process to change it. And without wasting any time, let's get started. First thing, we're going to pop open the hood. The engine air filters are located one here, one here. So we need to remove this whole assembly. In order to remove it, first we're going to remove these two ducts, one here, one on that side. We're going to remove the cover, housing, then mass airflow sensor, which is on the back. So we're going to open it. We're going to pry it out. So I'm going to close him so you can see it, what things we need to take it out. First of all, we're going to open. We're going to pull off, then you slide it back. These clips goes inside one here, one here. And these two, they slide underneath. We're going to remove the dirt. Then we're going to remove this one. Just pull it backward. And now we're going to pop this one open. These are the rubber. One here, one here. That locks in. Put your hand here and put your hand here and you can pull it up. You can do it this way too. And it lifts up. Now we come on this side and we'll do the same thing. Open it. That's the cavity goes on the right on top of the mass flow sensor. So this is the big cavity which covers the mass airflow sensor. One, two, three, four times. These goes right on top of this one, which locks in. This is the mass flow sensor. This is the assembly we took it out. Put something underneath so it won't scratch up. And we're going to place it right here. So there are four screws. These are torx screws and it will require T25. One, two, three, four. And same thing on this one. One, two, three, four. Remove it. Once the screws are removed, you'll open it. And this is our filter. So I'm going to remove it. And as you can see, there are some dirt. So this is a really important. There is a, some uh, debris, dirt you clean up before putting in. And one thing I've noticed that uh, my air filters are not that bad. They are really clean. If we look at on the top, same thing. I can show you on this side as well. If we open it. And this one is brand new also. It's very clean. Good idea that as a house cleaning, we're going to clean up on the bottom. So make sure there is no dirt. So I'm going to put back these filters again. So this is my new filter. So I'm not going to change it to the new filter since we seen they are uh, pretty in addition say. And I'm going to put back uh, again. So we're going to put the screws back again and we're going to clean it. As you seen, uh, the filters were clean. So I put it back the same one. Only thing I did, there was a little dirt. I cleaned it and then I cleaned this whole area. When you put it in, make sure they are seated inside the cavity. And you just need to press it, making sure that it's seated perfectly. So once we're going to put it on, it's going to sit right in there, just like that. Make sure that it's seated perfectly. Then we're going to tighten the screws. Don't over tight. First, make sure that they are nicely tight. You check it out, it's seated perfectly, and then you tighten it fully. And the same thing, I'm going to do it on this side, same way, making sure everything is okay, and we're going to put the screws back in. After tightening the screws, I wanted to mention to you regarding the mass flow sensor. There is a small clip, goes on the back, and it happens to be missing on mine. So I'm going to get it later on, and I'm going to install it. This is a press fit. But it's a good idea. If you have a missing clip, please put it on. So now we're going to make sure that on the back it's seated perfectly, it's aligned. So I'm going to make sure from the side as well that it's seated perfectly. And we are aligned on this one and we're going to press it from the back first. Once you press it back, then on the side, we're going to press it. And it's seated. Nicely. You heard that. So it's a perfectly fit. And now we're going to put the hoses back. Just push it a little bit. Slide it. 
and same thing on this side so we're going to put the cover on and that's how it's easy and the simple if you have to replace your engine air filter if this video helped you out like always like share and subscribe my channel thank you bye bye